Hi everyone. So my name is Swati, and today we are having a topic rational number. Okay, so we are going to learn something about rational numbers. So as you can see here, that we are having this word rational number. So in this rational number, we have numbers. So let us first understand about numbers. Okay, so we have the term here numbers. So let us for that first understand what is numbers. So we have few types of numbers, as you can see here. that we have numbers of the kind natural numbers whole numbers integers okay so if we talk about what are natural numbers as you can see the natural numbers are the set of numbers starting from 1 and counting up to infinity denoted by n so let us understand about this in brief so for that let us draw a number line okay so we know this is the number line and on this we have the numbers like it will you know this is zero this is positive numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and we know that this will go on this will go on till infinity similarly here also negative numbers are there negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 and so on this will go on till minus infinity now talking about the natural numbers we can clearly see the natural number will starts from 1 okay and after 1 it will be 2 3 4 not any numbers between 1 and 2 not any numbers between 2 and 3 just the numbers at this position 1 2 3 4 and it will go on till infinity right so the number which starts from 1 and that will go till infinity that are the natural numbers as you can see in the definition and we normally denote the natural numbers by n okay so this is the concept of or this is the definition of natural numbers now if we talk about whole numbers whole numbers is the same as natural number the only thing that we have to do is we have to include this zero as well okay so earlier we saw that this was you know natural numbers okay not the middle points only the numbers 1 2 3 4 not the numbers in between 1 and 2 of course so this these are the natural numbers and now if we include if we just include zero in this set of natural numbers meaning now the set will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 till infinity so these will be nothing but whole numbers okay and whole numbers we denote by w so the only difference between natural numbers and whole number is that in natural number we have the number starts from 1 2 3 until infinity and in the whole number you just have the same as natural number including zero that's the only difference so this is the whole number now if we talk about integers so as you can see integers the definition is integers are the set of all positive and negative numbers including zero so as you can see on the number line on this number line we have the negative numbers as well as the positive numbers and together we have zero as well right so all the numbers meaning all the positive numbers as well as the negative numbers and including zero are called nothing but integers okay so let us write down this as green so this is nothing but the integers okay so again only the numbers like 0 minus 1 minus 2 not in between minus 1 minus 2 not in between 0 minus 1 not in between 0 and 1 only 0 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and so on till infinite minus infinity and 1 2 3 4 5 till infinity so these are called nothing but integers right so as you can see the difference we can see that whole number natural number and integers if i talk about natural number is okay so for that let me just go ahead with the presentation okay so as we can see here yeah so you can see the a diagram related to integers whole numbers and natural numbers so for that let me erase what i have written yeah so as you can see integers are minus 1 minus 2 and so on and next we have okay so yeah so now you can see the whole number natural number is a smaller set and in that whole number is a bigger set why because we can see here that natural number starts from 1 2 3 so natural number starts from 1 and whole number has just extra digit which is 0 right so that's of course a bigger set right so that's why natural number is in the smaller set and whole number is in the bigger set and then we can see here that whole number is also you know getting contained in integers so as you can see here clearly if i explain you this thing 
that this is the natural number which is the smaller set and then we have a whole number which is containing one extra zero that's why the bigger circular because that is containing all the natural numbers also and now integers are the bigger set which is containing both whole number and a natural number because you can see that if we just say integers then integers have whole number also why because whole number has 0 1 2 3 and so on and it is containing natural number also because it starts from one so that's why this diagram right now let us move to the next slide so in the next slide we have rational numbers now the main topic that we started from rational numbers so as we can see the definition given that the rational numbers are the numbers which can be written in the form p by q okay so all the numbers which can be written in the p by q form where p and q both are integers and q is not equal to zero of course q is not equal to zero why because if q will be zero then we know that any number upon zero will be undefined so q there is a restriction that denominator cannot be equal to zero so that's why we have we can see the examples we have six upon seven minus two upon three nine upon five all are rational numbers okay for example, I can give you some extra examples. So let us talk about some extra examples. Since we have P upon Q form, so P upon Q form meaning we can write down 6 upon 3 also. Why? Right? right? We can also write down 6 upon 3 as 2. Why 2 is also a rational number? Because we have nothing in the denominator. And we know that if we have nothing in the denominator, that means 1. So clearly, this is also in the form of P by Q, where clearly P is 2, Q is 1, and Q is up absolutely not equal to zero so therefore this two upon one or two is also a rational number now talking about zero is zero a rational number absolutely zero is a rational number because zero we can also write down as zero upon one right so where zero upon one is in the form of p by q where p is zero and q is one and again q is not coming zero p can be zero the only thing that we know is denominator cannot be equal to zero right so therefore, this is the definition of rational number. Now, since we talked about natural number, whole number integers, now you can see that rational number will contain all these you know, numbers, integers, whole number, natural number, because rational number is again a bigger set. So you can see that. Okay, let me uh, erase the drawings. Yeah. So now you can see here that rational number is containing integers also, whole number also. A natural